We're gonna go into the darkroom app today. The app looks like this. So we'll go into the darkroom. We're gonna pick our viewpoint, our first one, either camera low, bird's eye, or macro. Remember, you're gonna have to have three viewpoints and we're gonna alter them. So once you go in, you have a few options to start with at the bottom. First one is to crop your photo. So it looks like the little square and you can adjust the viewpoint of your picture. Uh, you can drag it around to find out which view you'd like. Okay, by dragging the corners. Then you can click on the second one. This is our, these are already preset filters. You can change it automatically, making it dark, black and white, um, sepia toned. If you go all the way over to the right, there's like duo tones that you can adjust on your paper to start with as a filter. Once you pick a filter, you don't have to pick one if you don't want one. If you do choose one, I'll choose this one to work on. Um, then you can click on these little levers and here's where you can adjust all the brightness, the contrast, uh, how light or how dark something is, the clarity, if it's clear or grainy or blurry, you can adjust that. Remember, we're trying to make these look not like paper, so you wanna make them look a little bit more abstract. Um, highlights are how, like the whites, the super bright parts, you can bring them down or have super blown out. I'm gonna bring them kind of down. Shadows, you can make your shadows darker or lighter, depending on how you like it. Um, whites, so you can make them super bright, you can make them darker. I'm kind of liking the darker version here. And you can adjust the black tones as well, like that would be completely darkened up. I'm gonna kind of leave it in the middle there. Saturation is how bright um, the colors are, because it's already a filter, that one's already down. We have the temperature. I chose the duotone, so mine's already cool. So this is not really gonna affect anything on there. Um, another option you can do is you can go on the curves one and you can adjust the colors. And so this would be doing our midtones. You can adjust those. This is the overall picture. If you wanna adjust like reds individually and add those into your picture, you would do the R. If you're not happy with what you changed, all you do is click this back arrow and you can adjust it again and revert back to your last option. Okay, the next one is G is for the greens. So you can adjust those colors in the different areas and play around with that. I'm gonna bring some green back here. If you don't like it, revert it back. You can adjust your blue tones as well. Some of these are already adjusted by that filter I chose to begin with. Ooh, I like that. So when you find something you're happy with, you can take a screenshot if you wanna keep going. There's a few more options just to adjust the dis individual colors now. So you can play around with adding different yellows of where those go. You can adjust the aquas, purple. So these are adjusting individual colors on your picture. And then the last one is playing around with those mid-tones again. We have the color, we have highlights you can do, you, the mid-tones and our shadows are all the way at the end. Once you're happy, you'll take a screenshot and you will have to crop out this area from your photo. We can't get that off of our photograph unless we crop it out. So we'll get rid of the extra areas up there. When you're happy with it, you're gonna click done, save to photos, go on and start editing your second one. So you'll go back to your library, pick your second, fo third photo, second, third photos, and do the same thing, okay? Have fun.